what can the average young politician, male, female, do in order to beat this system? I've taken it in two ways. I've always said to young people, do not take to politics as a profession. Please. It shouldn't be because you won't give the best of your service. Like he says, if you're going to do that, get involved at the party level. Or you're doing something, find yourself, because I've had people who started their life, they say this, that, that. This thing is that you're not going to retire with it. And you're not going to create a fortune with it unless you steal. So, get, start doing something. Participate in various ways. Like it says, you can be a member, you can be in administration, you can be in anything. You can be a member of party, participating in party affairs while you're doing your business. I've been a member of party. Even outside this country, when I lived in England, I was on Conservative African Comi Committee. We just put small, small money affects my business. You can do that. But ensure that the right persons are in office. The reason why it's become polluted and corrupt and everything is what I said earlier. Because bandits have taken it over. So they have to create an obstacle for entry because they want to keep doing the same thing. So they now tell you, for example, you want to be house member at that level, you pay five million. Tell me, you want to be local government chairman, maybe it's 10 million. Governor is 25 million. Of course, president has risen to 100 million. So you could see where we are. In a country with a per capita income of $2,000, people are paying $100 million to run for office. But in, a, in America, where we learned it from, with a per capita of $75,000, almost $70,000, you don't pay $5,000 to run for office. But here, 100 million is $200,000. So they've raised the bar of entry because it's become a criminal organization. You can stop that by electing good people. When they come in, they will lower that entry they will stop it because it's wrong. It shouldn't be in a country where you're paying lecturers, professor in a university is earning 400,000 naira, $1,000. You're asking somebody to contest for governor with $200,000. That means no professor can ever Ask even all of us who are paying it to bring our tax clearance so we show where we earn such money that we are using to pay for that. So you have allowed crime, that system has been criminalized and you must deal with it by voting the right candidates and asking them even, what will you do when you enter about these fees? This is time to answer it. So you take note. Peter will be said when he because this, you remove all those charges. You take note. If it doesn't, when it goes in, you insist. It is for the people to say no to those of us in office. What we do is that we are celebrating the same criminality. Look at what Senator did today. He came in here, he apologized because he knew he was late. There was a time fixed for this thing, five o'clock. I have been in office as governor. You come to a church, a 
Thank God there's some Alhambra people are here. And people will tell you, you are late. And people will say, come in front. Let's come and stay at the back. That's where you stay. Let's find you come being governor. And you're telling them, no, 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 no. I was at church this morning with my friend. We came late. And somebody say, no, we have a seat for you in front. I say, listen, let's come and stay at the back. That's where they're meant to stay. Get a study for who you are. You know, you have to stop celebrating what is wrong. That is why impunity is continuing because impunity has become a measure of success and power in Nigeria. So you can stop all these things. And I talk about general corruption. Let nobody tell you you can't stop corruption. If you're not stealing yourself, your wife and children are not stealing. Those around you are not stealing. You already see by 70%. Because as governor, you will approve what they will steal. So when you approve to take your own, everybody will start adding his own. But if you're not taking, nobody will add. Go to me anywhere. I've been governor for eight years. And they will tell you, go and show me where anybody added his own in Anambra State. Because I have to take first now. Before you take. So if the man, if the leader is not taking, I'm not a center. If I'm not taking, you can't take. So I have to start. There's so many offices that we need to, you can abolish, that leads to corruption. And when you abolish them, it will not happen. Same thing in the party and what they are doing. And my friend in the Young Democratic Party, a Young Progressive. Progressive Party, which I'm encouraged with what they're saying, and let them continue in that direction. Let young people get involved. And you're getting involved is to challenge this rascality, challenge this corruption, not for you to come in and become part of it. When you become part of it, you're hurting yourself because most of the people who are at this, at this stage, none of you today knows that your country is borrowing money that is not payable until 2050, 2055, when all of us will not be there. Go and check the bonds we're issuing, euro bonds we're issuing today. Senator knows when they approve it, it's 2055. Soon we'll start borrowing 2060. And we won't be there when it matures. We will have all gone. And we are not putting anything in the sinking fund to pay it. Because if you have a sinking fund, you are servicing it, you are saving. So start questioning your local government chairman. Start questioning your governor. This is time to remove all those appendages. His Excellency, Honorable, Dishonorable, let's bring them to their name. So until we, until we, when they end it, we call them. Thank you very much.